Hey crafty friends, it's Joy here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm going to show you how I created four alcohol ink backgrounds really easily. I'm also going to be sharing how I dry embossed and used stencil paste with a stencil on my backgrounds. Now I'm going to start with a piece of photo paper. I am using the back side, not the glossy side. I'm using some alcohol inks, lemonade, citrus, gumball, and pool. These aren't new alcohol ink colors, but they are new to me and I'm excited to use them. I'm also using my pinata brass and 99% alcohol. So I thought it would be great to create four cards from this eight and a half by 11 sheet of photo paper. And I'm gonna start off a little bit slow here and then I'm gonna speed up my video for you. I'm using gumball. So what I did was I laid down a big pool of alcohol. I added the gumball alcohol ink along with my brass pinata. And originally I thought I'm just gonna move this around with the card, with the photo paper holding onto the edges and letting the alcohol ink move. I decided real quickly that I'm not gonna do that and bring in my uh, blow dryer. When I use the blow dryer, I use it on a cool setting, but it is pretty high. There's a lot of air coming out. So when I'm moving back and forth, I'm creating nice little layers here and they turn out so, so pretty. But when I'm moving back and forth, I'm letting the side of the air move the alcohol ink. If I put the blow dryer directly on top, it's just gonna push it from the center out. But as you can see, I'm moving it from left to right, top to bottom. But look at how pretty this gumball is. And I'm just gonna keep moving this ink until there's nothing left to move. Then we can bring in our next color. So I think what makes this easy to mass produce Mentally, you just have this one large piece of paper. You're gonna make bigger areas with your alcohol ink. Then you can just trim this down. I want to add another color. I will let it overlap that gumball just a little bit. I don't want to completely get rid of what I just created. So again, I'm going to add a big puddle of my alcohol. Then I am using lemonade and my brass pinata, a little bit more alcohol. I'm gonna move this around to kind of get where I want it to be. I'm filling in the areas that I need it to fill in. Then I can use my blow dryer to continue to move that around. My brass pinata was just sitting in the center there so I broke it up with my finger. Now I can bring in my blow dryer and do the same thing. So if I wanna push the alcohol ink to the right, I'm gonna to go to the left of it and let the air just gently push it. As you can see, it grabbed some of that gumball. So now you're gonna have a little bit of an orange area, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna keep pushing it. I keep getting those nice little layers on each of the sides and I just think it's so, so stunning. And look at how pretty that is every time it grabs a little bit of that gumball ink. I'm gonna add a little bit more alcohol right in the center. I didn't like how that was looking. It was getting just a little bit thick and blobby looking. So adding a little bit more of that alcohol can move it around. Then I turn up my blow dryer to a hotter setting and that helps to dry it a bit faster. Now I'm gonna speed this up a lot more. This is the pool color. Again, doing the same thing of doing the alcohol, then the alcohol ink and your brass pinata, moving it around, filling in the areas and look at it grabbing that gumball so you're getting a little bit of purple. What I liked about doing it this way is when you trim down your cardstock, you're gonna get four A2 size cards out of this. Most of your cards are gonna have two colors on it, but some of them will have a few more where they meet. And it just gives you this different kind of background rather than taking four A2 size card panels and alcohol inking them separately, which obviously there's nothing wrong with that, but I just felt like this went much faster and you kind of didn't know how your backgrounds were gonna turn out, which to me was a lot of fun. I loved the layers of this one. I think it turned out so beautiful. Let's bring in our next color, which is citrus. I only did one of these. 
and I only did one of the pool. And on either side is the gumball and the lemonade. So again, let's move this around, catching some of that blue, catching some of that lemonade, breaking up the brass, and then blow drying it. This really is super simple, you guys. Remember, just keep your blow dryer on the sides to blow your alcohol ink around, not putting it in the center. Again, if you put it in the center, it's just gonna blow it straight out on all sides and that is not gonna give you this look. But as you can see, it's leaving all of those nice little lines and it gets dark in the center. Let's finish with two more and then we can get to putting these cards together. Now I am using the Clover Plate embossing folder and the Spring Medley. I believe both of these are 3D embossing folders. I'm also using the Damask Stencil and I will be using Distress Grip Paste with that. And you guys, these turned out so beautiful. I definitely wanna do this again because it just made for super interesting backgrounds. I usually don't wanna do anything to my alcohol backgrounds, but I'm glad I did this. And I did it sparingly with the Distress Grip Paste to not cover up all of that beautiful alcohol ink backgrounds. So let's finish one more spot here and then we're gonna do some fun splatters. And a lot of times you can do it with just the alcohol, which is really pretty, but I opted to do it with the alcohol ink itself, and I did not dilute it with alcohol. So as you can see, that pink one, the, the gumball and the lemonade I just did are also both darker. That's because I did less alcohol to start off with. So if you want lighter, like the left side, go with more alcohol. If you want darker, do less alcohol. I'm taking that gumball and splattering it all over the whole background. And look at how pretty that is against the yellow and against the pool is just absolutely stunning. I just put it in a little bowl that I have. I'm adding some alcohol to it to clean it out with a paper towel and then I can bring in my next color. I love, love, love these color splatters. I just think they're so much fun. Again, you can do just alcohol. All that's gonna do is push away the existing color, not add any new color. So since I wanted some other colors on top, I am using the ink itself, the alcohol ink itself. Let's bring in another color. I think this is the lemonade. That is really pretty on top of the pink. And look at how it pushes away the other alcohol ink that's already on that background. And then adding those nice little splatters all over the whole thing. And I'm just using a small paintbrush to add this to the background. Let's do one more. This is the gumball. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that. I already did that at the beginning, but I felt like I needed a little bit more. I added, I blue dry it with my uh, hot air from the blow dryer. It's dry enough, it still is a little bit wet. When I emboss it, you'll see, but I can trim these down into A2 size pieces and look at how pretty. Now we've got four backgrounds. That was super easy to do. This is the clover plate. I decided to use the yellow and green background. I'm centering that, I will run it through my die cut machine. I'm using the Platinum 6. And when I pull it out, you'll see that there's some alcohol ink on the top. I just cleaned that with some alcohol and a rag, but look at how stunning that looks. I love how this turned out. Let's use the Spring Medley folder with that darker pink and pool, so the gumball and pool color. I had to clean that one a little bit too, but it is not a problem. If you don't wanna to have to clean them, let these sit for quite a few hours. That uh, metallic alcohol ink takes a minute to dry. All right, I have the damask stencil on here. I am carefully putting on the Distress Grit Paste. I don't wanna cover up a lot of areas. I don't wanna cover, cover up those dots. So I'm being strategic where I'm placing this Grit Paste. 
I can peel this back and then work on the next one. And I'm gonna do it quickly because I'm feeling a, a little bit lazy and not wanting to have to wash it in between both backgrounds. And obviously you could use two different stencils. This is from Honeybee Stamps newer release and I haven't used it yet, so I decided to use it on both of these backgrounds. So this one has multiple colors on it. There is the pool and the citrus at the bottom and I did not want to cover that up. So I was, I only added a little bit at the bottom and a little bit at the top and then some on the side. And when you're done, definitely go wash everything immediately, especially with this Distress Grit Paste. It dries super quick. Okay, let's get to our sentiments. I am using the Happy, Happy, Happy Stamp and Coordinating Die. We have four cards. I will have two of them with the metallic gold ink. I love this from Honeybee Stamps. This is if you don't feel like gold embossing. I think this is a fantastic alternative for a sentiment. So I have this in my Misty. I have a large sheet of Nina cardstock. The next two sentiments will be black. I'm gonna flip this around. And again, I have not bought a refill for my black ink so I had to stamp this multiple times so if your ink pad is nice and juicy then this will not actually be a problem for you then we have the other sentiments and these all have coordinating dies so I have two that I'm stamping that says wishing you a one in metallic gold one in black then I have a black anniversary a black birthday and then I have a wishing you uh, birthday and Easter in the gold metallic. I can use the coordinating dies to die cut out all of these sentiments, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to tape those in place with some low tack tape, and then I can run this through my die cut machine till all of my sentiments are completely cut out. I did attach my card panels to an A2 size white card base. I have foam tape behind all of the happy words, and then I can start laying these out. I am laying these out to, I, I don't wanna cover up really beautiful areas. So on this card above the wishing you, there is a purple area that I thought was really, really pretty and I didn't wanna cover that up. So I lowered my sentiments to the bottom part of the card. I'm using my reverse tweezers to hold those smaller sentiments in place. I have added liquid glue behind them. So I'm just waiting for those to dry. I did pop the word Easter on top of happy. This one is gonna be centered. I have to say this background and the happy Easter background are both my absolute favorites. When I was thinking of the birthday cards, I went with the darker backgrounds and I thought the green and yellow would be great for a guy and then the pink and blue would be great for a girl. So now I have a couple happy birthdays in my stash. This is a great way to mass produce cards. So especially with these gorgeous alcohol ink backgrounds. So let's take a look at these. It's embossed and alcohol inked. Here's the other one that is embossed. I just love all of that detail. It just gives these cards such great interest. Then we have our stenciled backgrounds with stencil paste. This one is my favorite. I love it, it's so stunning. And then we have an Easter card here. So we have anniversary, birthday, and Easter cards. Okay guys, I hope this helped you. I hope you guys can uh, make these cards in the future and mass produce. I hope that you feel inspired. Thank you so very much for stopping by and watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.